Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another viewer request. This one comes from Reven JJ. Reven JJ? I hope I said that right, my friend. Now, Reven JJ also saw the Mind Seed video where I got a fair bit of abuse and uh, basically said, Good catch. I hope you do more and go through all of these teams. One that seems real legit is Paranormal Nightmare. The Form Foreman brothers are legit. You'd enjoy watching. Wendy Walters then comments, Yes, I believe Paranormal Nightmare are legit too. I've subscribed to your channel now because I'm hoping you'll do a reaction video on them. Well, Wendy Walters and Reven JJ. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And we're going to be reacting to Paranormal Nightmare TV series, The Scariest Haunting, Caused Real Nightmares, Paranormal Nightmare Episode... Paranormal Season 1? Season 12? Holy shit, these guys have been going a while. Season 12, Episode 3. Guys, this is a 45-minute video, so this is going to go on for quite some time. I hope, and I pray, that uh, this isn't like the last guys are... Not getting into it. I will not be dragged into that argument. Again, let's people leave more nasty comments. So before we get into the video, head on over to Paranormal Nightmare, subscribe to them, watch the videos, like the videos, comment on the videos and all that good stuff, and then come back and watch my reactions. So my viewers think these guys are legit. Um, my viewers are fans of this show, and they know that I, if I see fake real, I'll call it out. So you know what you're watching. If I see something that's fake, I'm going to call it out. Also, if you want to see some ghost hunts without any fakeness in there, I'm doing them myself on this channel. Have a look. It's three up at the moment. By the time this video goes out, I will probably be in the most haunted hotel in the UK. They've got their own YouTube channel called My Haunted Hotel. And me and Mrs. Geek are going to be going to spend a night there, doing an investigation. They'll be filming us for an episode of their show. We'll be filming ourselves for our YouTube. It's going to be good, I hope. That place has a lot of activity. I've only ever seen two episodes with absolutely nothing happened. Knowing my luck, I'll be the guy that gets nothing. I need some money now. It's going to get worse. Last couple nights, I've had like major nightmares. And just being inside that house, you got a crazy, uncomfortable feeling like you knew something wasn't quite right. Please. Nobody would help us. So these nightmares, it's like the same thing over and over again. Something bad's coming. I just feel it. She seems legitimately terrified and upset. I've, I've just subscribed to the channel just off that. If I see bullshit, I'll unsubscribe. But this looks good. This looks promising. And I've seen these guys in somebody else's videos. Whatever's coming, it's coming. It's going to hurt you. And as the door starts to break open, I wake it's up. like it's reaching out to let us know it's not finished. He kind of looks like Fred Durst. No offense. It's a human. I know it is. And there's others with it. It's gonna hurt you. Our first night here, we noticed that the light in the kitchen was flickering on and off. And next thing we know, our car alarms start going off outside. And our keys are hanging on the wall right there. There was this woman in that bedroom with me and I was laying in the bed and she had her back turned against me. I got woke up to a woman talking, saying, I told you to watch her. And I said, I don't trust her. You need to watch her. And then I heard demonic voice say, I have been watching her. I'm wide awake in my bed hearing this. He's been eight years sober. I've been 20 years sober. As soon as we moved in here, Fair we, played to you. It. we wanted to start drinking. It almost became like don't do that. dehydration for it. Like it was a hunger to want to start drinking. I was literally Fucking fighting. Fucking hell. And so was he. He would get woke up by the handle on his dresser being moved in the middle of the night or tapping on the windows. We noticed all day. Can you imagine? Hearing bed, hearing bed, hearing Could you imagine having to live through that? 20 years sober. By the sound of it, they, they had a bit of an issue with alcohol. That's me making a bit of an assumption. And one night in this house has made them want to drink. And this is why I get pissed at fake stuff. Because people like this, if this is real... People like this who are looking for help that are genuinely struggling and suffering through some form of haunting, your fake videos are making a mockery of them and make people think it's all a load of shit. It's ruining this person's life. Look how upset she is. Stop making fake videos unless you put for entertainment purposes only. So we know it's fake. He's been eight years old. 
years sober. I've been 20 years sober. As soon as we moved in here, it was instant. We wanted to start drinking. It almost became like a dehydration for it. Like it was a hunger to want to start drinking. I was literally fighting that urge. And so was he. He would get woke up by the handle on his dresser being moved in the middle of the night or tapping on the windows. We noticed all day long there would be this. That's every day. Three knocks. All day long. Mocking the Trinity. I tried saging and I didn't know what I was doing. I was just listening to people and it just seemed to amp it up more. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. And they're like, call a priest or try to get a hold of a priest. And I tried that. I tried to get in contact with Zach Baggins. Now it's to the point to where it got real bad within just in the last month. Don't call Zach Baggins to your house. Jesus. <laughs> Now, I watch Ghost Adventures, I enjoy Ghost Adventures, but they are not legitimate paranormal investigators. They go in there, I mean, they aggravate spirits to get a, a reaction. Is some of it real? Possibly. Is a lot of it bullshit? Absolutely. I find her entertaining, I'll watch it. But somebody like that, they're struggling, don't call them into your house. Month, I was in a depressing mood. Like, I couldn't get out of it. I just didn't want to do nothing. I was sleeping a lot. I just felt like it was all just drained. Everything was taken out of me. I was even thinking, you know, the only way I'm not going to see or hear this stuff anymore is if I take myself out of the picture. Oh. And I didn't want to tell him that. Shit. I don't want him thinking he's married to a psycho. <laughs> yeah. This is emotional. Yeah. Just when you messaged me back that you were going to come, I just found some hope. I kind of snapped out of it, thinking that somebody's going to help me, finally. As soon as I tell them something that it's demonic, they, they don't want nothing to do with it. And I'm like, I need somebody now. It's going to get worse. This ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse, and somebody's going to get hurt. More aimed at me for some reason. It's a demon. I know it is. And there's others with it. And the medium said that she sensed at least six of them here. That happens a lot. The grass. I, I I have a bit of an issue with some mediums as well, especially if they take a lot of money. Especially if they're taking a lot of money off somebody like her that is vulnerable. I'm assuming that these paranormal nightmares are going out to help her and not for a fee. Obviously, they're getting the footage for YouTube and all the rest of it. I'm fine with that. That's cool. I know of a psychic medium that my wife has used, and she's really good, doesn't charge the earth, and has come up with some stuff that I'm like, she didn't find that on the internet. That is, so I'm not saying all mediums are fake, but there are people out there that are rinsing money out of people, especially people like her that are vulnerable, and I don't like it. Growling and, like, hissing. Somebody did something here. I feel something in what? the kitchen, too. That was the nice. Being watched in the kitchen. Like, I'm real tense right now talking about it because I feel like it's going to punish me when you leave. I don't know what it's going to do. There's times that I don't sleep. And there's this child footprint, a wet footprint on the bathroom floor. I'm terrified. I don't like being here at all, especially at night going to sleep. But I don't feel comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I'm scared. This is horrible. I'm scared to close my eyes. I'm scared. I hate coming home. I hate it. I hate going to bed, and I shouldn't have to hate coming home or going to bed. And when I pray, it gets worse. I was real scared. And all of a sudden, I started to just tell me to pray. And I started praying out loud, and then I was like, everything, the black, the dark shadows start going crazy in there. And I was just like, tense up. Shadows? I even get the voices? Growling? Even hissing? What the? I really the forced myself to... Uh, rebuke it during the prayer even to say amen i had to force myself to say that was choking on the words like i didn't even want to pray because i knew that it was going to punish me and i feel like that's what it does when i do stuff like that it does punish me and you know mentally messes me up maybe somebody will see this and reach out and help me or tell me what it is praying that you guys would respond and you guys did and that it's been hope i've had hope since you answered back you're the only one that did please 
nobody would help us. I can't even have my family come over here because I'm scared they might leap with something. Did I just see my mom's spirit outside looking confused? What's going on here? I see her and then my sister's telling me she's dead. The night before she died, some bad things happened and some things were said. And I guess she was telling them that she wanted to kill herself. So my mom went to bed and she never woke up. My niece went to go in there and check on her and she was gone. I don't know if my mom died of a suicide or what, or a broken heart, because she got into it with my sister the night before, wondering why, Mom, what happened? From a split second, she went from the head to my feet by the fan. I don't think I was emotionally prepared for this. I thought it was going to be a generic, here's four guys with video cameras in an empty house going, oh, look, there's a tap, there's a, oh, what the fuck? This has caught me completely off guard. Her reaction and the way she is acting, or not acting, the way, the way she's feeling and portraying those feelings seems genuine. And if it's not a demonic possession, she's got some serious issues. We're five minutes in and I'm like invested. I really hope they can help her. I hope they don't just film it and then fuck off. That'd be, that'd be shit. Or I hope they don't provoke it. Film it, and then leave. She had a tattoo on her hand. I'm like, touching her hand. And I'm like, it's really you. It is you that can touch her hand. <laughs> and she said, on the chair. And she's kind of like this. And I'm on the bed. I touched her, touching her hand like this. And I said, Mom, what happened to you? And she just put her head down. She wouldn't answer me. Like, she was ashamed. And then... I'm like, you don't need to be ashamed. Tell me. I, I need he, to know. He's crying. He just wouldn't tell me. Every now and then I'll hear my mom's voice say, Jamie, Jeremy. Like she's trying to tell us something. And then here re recently, I haven't felt her here at all. That's my security camera going off right now. Check the footage. I'm pretty sure he was crying. He's mad. He's Whoa. Crying <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't drain your batteries. It drains our phones all the time. We have to have our phones on the chargers a lot. I went on a walk around the neighborhood. It was 11 o'clock at night. I saw something, what I thought was my husband at first on the back porch. It was a black figure, but I thought it was him. And it was standing at the end of our back porch, ran around the house. So by the time I got to this corner, it just ran right past me. It was a dark entity. I've never seen anything like that before. Last night, I, that whole area right there gets pitch black. And I feel like something's standing there. That corner right there, I always feel like there's something there. And the light flickers would be right next to me going on and off. Um, there's times that I feel like our house shaking. Like, literally, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not insane. I feel like something, our whole house is shaking. And he's felt it, too. He's come running outside when I was mowing the yard and telling him that he felt how shake. I kept telling him, I said, something bad's coming. And I said, I just feel it. And it's like, whatever's coming, it's coming. Underneath my foot, I felt three times underneath my foot. I got tired of it. I said, I can't get nobody here. Then I'm going to ask the questions myself. I just got up the courage to come in here by myself, alone, shut the door, standing right there. I said, what are you? Did you die here? That's when the two red, looks like eyes, come down from that wall right there, that corner actually, and then come down the wall. And then. I've just been away. I'm supposed to be reacting to this, and I've just sat here with a stupid look on my face. I am genuinely not prepared for this video. This is nuts. If her accounts are real and they look real, that is. A Hollywood horror movie, the de de demonic possession, the three taps, the red eyes, all of it is. I genuinely hope these paranormal nightmare guys are going to help her. And go in the closet. It's in there saying, "I did it." Haha, <laughs> it was me. Oh yeah, this room makes me very nervous. He's standing here by the door and shuts her light off. It's probably like one o'clock in the morning, and I'm standing right here. 
We're both asking questions. I turn in this corner, I see something like kind of tall and dark. Something just said, get out of here. And I get the door open and said, look, we gotta get out of here now. Whew, I gotta get out of here. Oh, it's just, it's, I, I don't know, just getting scared in there. I'm feeling like it don't want me in there, right? Talking about it at all, at all. He don't want me talking about it. I started getting goosebumps on my back, like feeling something on my back. I'll scoot the camera going off I'm again, right? There by myself. Something went through me. My eyes went pitch black. I, everything went black. And I literally felt it. I told my husband, I said, I felt it. I felt something just felt like it just took over me for a couple of seconds. Everything went pitch black and then back to normal. I felt something go through me. I literally felt it. And I'm scared that it, next time it does it, it's going to stay. And I don't want that. And I don't know if it's what is in that room or if it's the bad thing that that tried to do that to me. But it wasn't a good feeling when it happened at all. Sounds like it's trying to possess her. Literally trying to take over. Be in the house, though. Move. It kind of enjoys Claim on the insurance. Get mad at it. Just be careful. It's going to hurt you. Yeah. Especially when you're telling it to leave. My son would literally sleep with the door open. I didn't want to say that because I didn't want to sound crazy, but I seen a real tall guy with a hat and he was coming to my door and he said, I got freaked out and he went under my blanket and covered up under the blanket and I went come out. And I got out, I reached this far away, nowhere near the floor. I get out, start drying, I look down and there's a footprint right here. And I was like, I know I didn't touch that floor. Okay, so we just wrapped up interviews with Jeremy and Jamie. We're gonna start the investigation. Definitely an uneasy feeling inside this house. I'm uneasy watching. That's a clock. This right here is the room that has the heaviest feeling. It's where they've had the most experiences, and the past owners have had experiences in this room. And just being in here during the day, she had to run out of the house because of this room. And she believed whatever was in here went through her and briefly possessed her. Today was the footprints. The kid's footprints showed up when he got out of the shower. There were little kid wet footprints. And they've had experiences with kids here. And the previous owner, I'm getting cold chills just talking about it. But the previous owner painted this room, came back in the next day, and they have no kids. And there were kids' handprints on oh, all the paint. Oh, you feel that? Put your hand right here. Hurry. Cold, like a cold oh, air yeah. just shot yeah, straight yeah. through. It's about a kid's size, Josh. Yeah, and it shot straight through. Like it, is. it was just like a whiff of wind, like went straight through me. I don't think that's a kid. I think it's a house. demon pretending to be a kid. Whoever's in this house, my name's Josh. This is my brother, Rocky. We're just here tonight to talk to you. What a cool name. Just call you kid, Rocky. And if you have something that you want to say, we're here to listen to you. Evidently, you're trying to communicate something, and we want to know what that is. If there's any children in this house, can you set one of our alarms off? I don't think that's a child. I don't know if I believe in demons, but... Wow. You know what's weird is that one room where everybody's having all these experiences and where everybody feels uneasy is the one room where the alarm's going off. Connie or Pat, I know that you guys have come and talked to Jamie. Southern Lady 42, thank you for the subscription while I'm live. <laughs> or while I'm recording. Legend. We've got a few alarms in the bedroom. It's kicking off. Who keeps setting our alarm off in here? Doesn't like a kid's voice, right? Luke? Does that say Luke? If you're trying to get a message across, right now would be a perfect time to do it. 
because we have all the equipment that will record you. Can you hit one of the walls for us? Right. Now, I do paranormal investigations. Quite new to it. But very new to recording it, at least. And I said, if you've got a haunted home and you want me to come there and film it and do an investigation in your home, I'd happily do it. I wouldn't go there. I genuinely wouldn't go there just in case A, something attaches to you and follows you home B, it makes things worse for those people C, how do you deal with that? I mean, there's a difference between noises, sounds and possibly seeing an apparition to feeling like there's a demon in your house that's trying to possess you For us? Are you back in the kitchen? Now this bathroom back here is where they had the kids footprints. And they'd always felt like something was up in the attic area. And one day this attic door came crashing down. I wonder why he's wearing headphones. Children inside this house? Is he monitoring his own voice? Are they using a microphone? Can you try to talk louder? Are they using a microphone, like a boom mic? And they've got headsets plugged into it, so they can use an amplified volume of everything. That's cool. That's cool. For us. We're here to help Jamie and Jeremy. Proof is that you're inside this house. Okay. I don't know if that was a knock or the sound of the uh, boom mic moving. It's not a boom mic. I just gotta find out where it's hiding. They don't have a boom mic. I don't know why he's wearing a headset. Feel uneasy right here. Are you in the bedroom? They say that you hit the walls and the windows. Oh. It's the alarm bedroom, again. Come out here with us. We didn't come here to chase you around. We came here to talk to you. To find out why you're here. I'm on edge watching so this. Leave this house tonight. Can't follow him, I hear you. She said that you get upset when people tell you that you have to leave. I mean, I suppose they've got to provoke a little bit just to see if there is something there for them to get it to leave. You can touch one of us. I don't know the background. Are they religious? Like, ordained and stuff? An intrusive ad telling me to app enable a ad blocker. It's like active, like right off the bat. The one that's like creepy quiet. That was a yawn. What was that? Something's getting pissed at you. Dude, it just sounded like something was like breathing. Oh, he's microphone on his chest. That's what he's listening to. It sounds like something was like right here close to my mic. Connie, are you inside this house? Oh. She's using that kind of like a boom mic. We're here to help your daughter. Smart. My eyes are everywhere. We help us. We need to figure out what's inside this house. That's another thing she wanted to try to figure out tonight is how her mom died. Yeah, this room's definitely cold. Yeah. It's something for us. See, if this was one of those other channels, it'd be shit flying in the air and doors slamming and peekaboo demons and everything by now. Dude, that camera was... Or it shut off? Yeah, it was 89%. Oh, an alarm's going off. Okay. The camera went dead and the 
alarm went off. Battery dream? Are you trying to aggravate us? Or is it using power to manifest? Do some scary, sketchy shit. You know, we're not afraid of you. Time to do some spooky shit, dude. Uh, this demon ain't scared of you. Let's put it back in the creepy room. Let's see if it goes off. <coughs> Can you move away from that? Are we aggravating you? There's another alarm on top of the dresser. Can you set that off too? I don't think this thing wants to play ball. That thing hasn't done that ever, has it? Uh, last week. But like that much? Last week. I will see. These boxes, I have not some anything that expensive, but I have a REM pod device. When the battery drains on these, they switch on and stay on. It's to tell you the batteries are dying. That could be a possible explanation for that, but I'm sure these guys will check the batteries. We got a device here. We can hear you if you talk to us. Can you tell us who you are? Are you a demon? I still don't put, have much faith in these things. Same voice said leave twice though. Are there any children inside this house? Who is the man that they see inside this house? Right. Alarm's going off. You're setting my alarm off. What is your name? Every single video with one of these things, the spirit box, it scans so slowly that you can hear voices, full sentences. You can hear like the news round music in the background. I haven't heard none of that on this. They've got that set so fast. I think these guys might be legit. I hope so. Who's in this room? We need to know, are there any children in here? Yes or no? Who is talking to me? Hey, oh, that man. What is your name? It's still... They've got that turned up and then they're getting short of words, which... I'm not calling them out. If they think that works and that's real, then I, for them, fine. I personally don't put much stock in them. Maybe I'll try it myself. But for me, I, I've tried using mobile apps, and they're dog shit. Absolute dog shit. I heard me and Demon were on a ghost hunt, or me and Mrs. Geek were on a ghost hunt, and I heard like a virgin come through, and I'm like, nah, I'm, fuck, I'm done with these. I literally heard the bars of the music in my jaw and say, like it. Imagine a channel being like the ghost said, like a virgin. That's not what these guys. I'm not. I'm gonna go with these guys. These guys do seem legit, just because I don't use or believe in the spirit boxes doesn't mean that they shouldn't. I'm not saying that they're far more experienced than I am with any of this. And there's a lot close to me. You're setting my alarm off again. What is that? It's 
So he's got an XP7 spirit box plugged into that speaker, and there's an alarm on there, like a, a proximity alarm on that's some fancy equipment he's got there. Where are you at inside this house? Connie. Can you tell us how you died? This thing is going crazy. Connie, can you hear me? How did to me, that's a please fix it. We'll take turns sitting in this room tonight, too, okay? Come in here and see if you fill that in here. Like, like Sabaton with BB metal. Uh, I like Sabaton. Yeah, it's like my head's getting hot. I would say this room and the bedroom are the two rooms, and it's like completely different feelings. Like in here, you just get a sick, heavy feeling, and the bedroom, just, you just get a cold, uncomfortable feeling. Just a sick, yeah, heavy feeling. That chair. Can you set that off? My jeans vibrated. It's like around my belt right here. Yeah. It's like vibrated. See, I thought I'd seen when I, I was still filming you. Is your phone? I thought I'd seen that light, like, go to light up a little bit. It's got a couple different lights on it. You have to walk, walk up to it. Turn it blue. Turn it blue for us. Exactly what you asked it to do. Yeah. That is an SP7 spirit box We're with a proximity lab in it. In the family that's living in I've never house. seen that. There's got to be a reason. So we're not going to be nice to you. Yeah, it's weird that the only room in the whole house where shit is going off is this room. So that's what you do. When one person's alone, you bug them, huh? You like it better when one person's in here by themselves? Start a camera. That Sitting it there. More powerful. He was walking back here. I've just noticed the cameraman how funny he's walking, and the reason he's walking that funny is they're in total darkness and they've got night vision on, so they can't even see properly. There'll be a bit of natural light from streetlights outside, so they can see door frames and stuff possibly. Right there is. Dark as balls in there. Sort of doing that with his okay, foot while <laughs> he's walking. Is it safe to be in here with you by ourselves? I can't wait to get a night vision camera. Probably wish you hear me yell. Yeah. You can't see where he's going. Hey, Rocky left the house. Can you walk away from that alarm? I don't want you that close to me. Testicles, like footballs. Whoever or whatever's inside this house, make yourself known, please. We're here to talk to you. Is that camera he's got on there? Like a GoPro? We're here to listen to you. The equipment these guys have got. I know you're here. I can physically feel that you're here. What is your name? What do you want? Three knocks. Knocking. <coughs> is that all you can do is knock on stuff, set alarms off? Right now the REM pods indicating high EMF. My REM pod doesn't do that. The equipment helps validate what we're... I don't like that it's right behind me. I mean, this room is so f***ing hot. I remember during the interview, this room was like freezing cold. And this is the only room in the entire house that's been setting off alarms. I don't know if Fahrenheit works. I don't know how dangerous something like that could be. Especially if you hear stories about people being possessed. 
I command you, come forward. Me regret that. And show me who you are. Ooh. Oh, it's this. I heard a weird noise. They showed the camera move from the other camera. And then the REM pod went off. I'm sure off this camera, that moved slightly. Was that meant to show the movement he saw that we heard and saw from there? I like the fact they're not just replaying everything over and over and over. Maybe I need to stop replaying stuff over and over. I'm going to do a sweep through the house. I can't tell if something just went behind me. I'll have to mark that. On oh, that's a camera as well, the white thing. It's like a baby monitor camera. Almost looked like a shadow went right behind me. Why didn't I think again a baby Rocky, monitor with night vision for house. ghost hunts? All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. When you got up and you uh, walked away, there's like these orbs that was like going your back. I think it's all kind of weird. That is a good you know, idea. Go back and look at the video. It looked like something like literally went right behind me. What? Wait. Almost looked like a shadow went right behind me. Ways. <coughs> I'm gonna do a sweep through the house. I can't tell if something just went behind me. I couldn't see it, genuinely. I'll have to mark that on the camera. Maybe the ghost with the evidence at the end? Almost looked like a shadow went right behind me. Rocky, I'm going to do a sweep through the house. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. When you got up and you uh, walked away, there's like these orbs that was like going your back. It's kind of weird. I like these yeah, guys. Go back look at the video. It looked like something like literally went right behind me. They're not overreacting. They're not being like overly aggressive. Hello? Are you in that bathroom? There's all kinds of stuff in here you can move. The fuck was that? That sounded like a dog whine. And then that goes off. I know you can set alarms off. Ooh. What else can you do? I mean, come on, if you're a demon, surely you can do more. Okay, I'm coming back to the bedroom. Felt like something just touched me. I feel like something came up and touched the back of my head. Did you just touch me? We're gonna cleanse this house. Oh, so they are. We're make you leave. They are trained in stuff then. Maybe they're ordained or something. I need to look into these guys. See, this room is like... Oh. I heard a kid, and this room is like ice cold. Who is in here?
He's usually walking, I'm not. I don't know. I don't like that room at all. What is your name? Did you See, die inside this house? That's a different setting on that spirit box. It's cycling slower. I like hear music and a voice come through, and that is why I won't use them. But apparently the reason I I got the reason that they are used wrong as well. I assumed people were using the spirit boxes and stuff. So the words through the radio coming out are meant to be what the ghost is saying. But apparently the static can um like fill the room with energy and then a ghost will speak through that. Now um the hotel that me and Mrs. Geek are going to this week. Uh my haunted hotel, they don't use a spirit box per se, but they use um a high pitched noise and then static in the background that doesn't pick up voices, doesn't pick up radio stations and now and again stuff talks through it. That I can get behind. These spirit boxes, in my opinion, I don't put too much stock in them. But if these guys know what they're doing, clearly they know what they're doing. They know far more than I do. So, you know, feel free. It's just not my choice of investigatory tool. That was so f***ing loud. Who are you? What's cool about that was that no, you could hear the Four or five times, and that no was continuous over the top of it. That's flicking radio stations. It shouldn't pick up a noise that prolonged. Wow. Are you a child? She sure didn't hear that. Where did you die at? You die inside this room. Tell me your name. Are you in this bedroom? I am utterly convinced that the voice is coming through that. Apart from that prolonged no over the... Those voices are cutting in and out as it changes. I don't know if the belief is that it tunes to certain words and phrases, but I'm not convinced by them. Not, I'm not convinced by the SP7. These guys, these seem legit. Nothing over the top. Yeah, you touched me earlier. Yeah. Keep getting a male voice coming across. We're gonna do a cleansing. Knocking. Why are you inside this house? No. Tommy, can you hear me? I heard a vent, not man. I'm not in any of those words, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go back to the creepy ass bathroom. I thought I picked up like a super crazy voice back here. Are you back here? Can you hit something for me? I mean, they are pointing out all the words, but he's not saying that it's whatever communicating with them, which is fair enough. I'm still not in the slightest convinced. There's been some cool words coming out, but I don't know about that. But everything else, awesome.
Can you move the shower curtain behind me? There's all kinds of stuff to move. Keep hearing like a kid's voice coming across though. Who is the kid that I keep hearing? He's in here. Who is he? Are you up in that hole? <gasps> no way. Dude, there's a kid that keeps coming across. Can I see you in the mirror? You're making me question the spirit box now. Stop it! Oh you shit! Did something in there? I'm glad you took that off. If there's a child that they've seen in here, can you walk over by the tub? And set my alarm off. Knocking. I want to see. Okay, we're going to do a little experiment here. Hopefully the family is okay with this. For the footprints. Okay, I'm going to leave my camera and my alarm in here. You can set that off. Okay, so I put a little bit of baking soda on the bathroom floor where they I saw mine see do this at the effects they used wow was it bad they literally used the same effect from the paranormal activity movie I can't hope nothing happens with this seeing the footprint alarm and a camera back there I'm gonna step outside the house we'll leave the house at empty and see what we can hear I said, did you die in here? And it comes across SB Sun goes, yes. That's what I thought I heard. Like Come playing across too. What's that? It's kicking off in there. Go on, Rocky. So right now, Rocky's heading into the house. Set this alarm off if you're here with me. You don't have to be afraid of me. You can walk up there and set it off. If it's a demon, are you scared, you bro? If you're a child, can you set that alarm off right next to me? Damn, I feel like something's touching me. Why are you messing with the family? You want the family to move out of your house? Are you mad and upset that they're here? I heard that you used to mess with the other family that lived here. Is that true? Connie, do you have a message for your daughter? Feeling like something's freaking touching me. I mean, Demon have tried the Necrophonic app. I'm not convinced. I think it's the same as an SP7, but it it does work 
we've had better results from Necrophonic than we've had through uh, what's the other ones we've used? Ghost Tube, Ghost Fox, EVP Recorder, Lucifer's Box. We we've tried a lot. Ghost Hunting Tool. Um, a lot of them. Uh, uh, the crap. Necrophonic. Um, we had Dean. We were in a abandoned care home, and Dean's name came through the box three separate occasions in the space of twenty minutes. So a little bit more faith in the Necrophonic app, a little bit. So I come out to the van with me. Who's in the house right now? Who are you? We use this app. It's only got 350 words in the bank. Devil. Oh. Why is the devil here? Me, Demon, and Mrs. Geek. We're all of the same opinion with the ghost chew. That we're not sold on it. We're not 100% convinced on it. But when you're investigating, if things are going quiet and you've got nothing... You're struggling to find things to talk about with a potential spirit. The stuff that comes out of that, it gives you something to bounce off. It's more of a tool for us as opposed to the demons and ghosts, I think. But again, that's my opinion. Bro, it's in your car. That shit's following you home. Yeah, what in the fuck? Are you in the van with me? Keep waiting for something to appear behind me in this back seat. Are you in there with Rocky now? Elderly. Elderly. Did you die inside this house? I swear to God, I keep feeling like something keeps freaking touching me. Weird. On his ear. Hi, are you in here? Can you help me get rid of the bad man? Yes? Who is it? I'm Rocky. I'm not here to hurt you. Thank you for setting the alarm off. Yeah. Willie's now. I met him by myself and the alarm's going off. Food! That goes just fired. I'm setting the alarm off right now. What is your message for your daughter, Connie? What was that? Somebody said what? Was that you? That sounded like he said what in the fuck, but he's in the car. It's a mimic. There's some evil in this house. Man. Someone ain't happy with them. Hey, they're cleaning up after themselves as well. When I first walked in there, I felt real heavy, like I was going to pass out. Just like heat, my head inside of my face. It was just getting so hot. Even the alarm's not going off anymore. I'm wondering if it ran out of energy. Did you leave? like it's not a dark it's like you know when we was in here it felt like real dark and heavy like my legs are getting wobbly and the most amazing thing i think from everything we did tonight yeah. was once the house felt it's like everything shifted where it felt more comfortable in here yeah and just a cooler atmosphere easier to breathe all the alarms quit going off yeah they they stopped and they ain't working now but like earlier when everything was going off 
This room had a completely different feel to it. Well, the whole house did. It was like, it felt, to me, it felt like it was so dark. I mean, I'm sure once the cleansing happens, it's going to be even better. Okay, so we got Jeremy and Jamie back in the house. We're going to start the cleansing. Rocky and she looks terrified. I thank you guys for coming and helping us. I'm going to put a little bit of holy water on you, okay? Yeah. Lord, we just pray that you watch over this family and keep them safe. We pray for Jamie that all these attacks moves on and can be at peace. Any portals that so, were open inside this house, we pray in the Lord. So they're not just going in, they're filming and leaving. Tight forever. Any spirits, good and evil, cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, please defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against everything wicked and evil that may be inside this house. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Let there be no dark place for the evil spirits to hide. We seal this threshold with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits, good and evil, inside this house, we command you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to leave. It is Jesus who gives us the authority to cast you out. In the name of Jesus, we need to leave now. Any portals that may have been opened inside this house, we close them tight forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we call on you to fill this house with your light and your glory, and we cast out any spirits inside this house. We seal this bed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits that are in this house, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We know you have faced your judgment. You are no longer welcome here. It's not your home. Lord, we just pray that you continue to watch over Jeremy and Jamie and just keep them safe. Let them have the power and the glory to continue cleansing this house. And thank you for these guys coming here and doing this for us. Protect them on their journey home and on their, all their journeys for you, Lord. And we thank you guys for having the faith to call us and bring us in, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. So she still looks terrified. I feel like I can breathe in here. Lord, we cleanse the outside of this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command you to leave. This house is protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, what's that? Is that sage? I'm feeling happy. Oh. <laughs> and a little bit of joy, you know, that... I feel like this is now our home. She's picked it up. It's been our home at all. And now it's our home. And the big thing, like I said, just get mm. some light in this house. Yeah. You could see the relief on her. Continue the cleansings as needed. I'm not being watched. I don't feel like I'm being watched. But stays away. Oh my God. This so is they'll great. do return Thank visits as well? Us. I appreciate it so much. We, we answered your our call and you answered us, and that means so much to us. Because we did not know what we were going to do. Well, we got through. <laughs> right? Mm hmm. Love you. Love you. Mm. You guys deserve the best, and we'll keep you in our prayers. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. You. <sighs> so, Rocky and I just wrapped up the cleansing. House feels a whole lot better. Family's extremely happy. They feel better. Guys, it's us, and we Hi, are doing better since you guys left. And thank you guys for coming. And um, we're still cleansing and keeping up what, like you told us to. But we wanted to give you this video and tell you thank you. Thank you. And God bless. Three straight nights following this investigation. Josh would experience extreme nightmares with very little sleep. Did it attach to him and that's why they felt better? Conjuring the mark one. Oof. Brothers continue to travel the country helping families. Wow. I am not a... I'm not a religious person. However... Just because I'm not religious doesn't mean that I don't think other people should be. Everyone can believe in what they believe in and have the right to do it and be left alone. That was 
seemingly more Catholic fear, Catholic religion, Catholic healing based. And although it's not anything that I believe in, if if that couple are Catholic, then it it, it would make sense that if the Catholicism is real and the, the, the demons are real, then Catholic guys go there and do Catholic prayers and rites to make them feel better, to cast out. I genuinely, genuinely really enjoyed that. Um, the spirit box. There were elements of that spirit box ash, but I was like, I can see why they use it. I'm still not convinced on the spirit box. But those guys have been doing this for, well, there's 12 seasons. How many episodes a season? I'm not entirely sure. But, I mean, I'll have a look now. 325k viewers. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of videos on here. Guys, we are 100% coming back to Paranormal Nightmare. I've really enjoyed that. Even though my beliefs are different to theirs, as an outsider looking in, it's almost like watching another world. Um, they didn't go over the top. There was I can't even debunk anything in there other than the spirit box. And I don't want to debunk it. I just want to say they have different beliefs in it than what I do. There was nothing to debunk because they didn't go over the top. They didn't do the mind seed and ghost adventures and other channels that I haven't got around to yet. Shit of going in there and there's stuff flying all over the place. People getting dragged across the floor. So uh, Revan or Reven, GG and Wendy, Wendy Walters, thank you for suggesting that I watch that channel. That was incredible. Do I 100% believe everything that was in that video? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you want me to react to more of these guys? Because if you don't want to watch it, and there's part of me recording them, but I'm going to watch more of these guys, I think. It's just up to you whether I react or not. But yeah, I enjoyed that, even though it was out of my comfort zone in regards to religion and stuff. Um, The fact that they helped that family and that family... Her at the end, when she's video called them, she looked like the weight of the world had been lifted off her shoulders. So no matter what you think of the paranormal and paranormal investigators and all of the rest of it, what the what those two brothers did for that couple cannot be denied. Even if it was all a load of shit and she believed something that wasn't there, and those two guys are ghost hunters that think they can do what they can't do, those four people came together and they feel better. Anyway, I've been Beardo. That was um that was the best video I've watched in a long time on YouTube. But for now, I'm Beardo and I am out.